So we want to apply our difference quotient to our function. And so what that's going to look like is h of 1 plus h minus h of 1. That's our change in output all over lowercase h, which is our change in input. So this is the same average rate of change formula we saw before. It just looks a little different. Now h of 1 plus h, so that's negative 5 times 1 plus h, the quantity squared, plus 27 times 1 plus h, plus 4. So that whole thing there is our h of 1 plus h. And then we're going to subtract off h of 1, which we know from our table is 26. So just to make this clear, this whole piece here is our expression for h of 1 plus h. This 26 is what we get for h of 1. So that's how where those numbers came from. This is all still divided by h. And now we get to a point where we have some algebra to do. So we're going to multiply out as much as possible. So in the numerator we have negative 5. Now 1 plus h the quantity squared. That is not 1 squared plus h squared. It's 1 plus 2h plus h squared. Then we have the plus 27 times 1 plus h. We'll distribute in the next step. We have a positive 4 and a minus 26 which leaves us minus 22. Again, all over h. Next thing we're going to do is distribute that 5. So there's negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2h is minus 10h. Negative 5 times h squared is minus 5h squared. 27 times 1 is a positive or plus 27. 27 times h is plus 27h minus 22. Again, all over h. Now look what's going to happen. We have a 27 minus 5 minus, we have 27 minus 5 minus 22. Those are all going to cancel out to 0. And we can, can, we can also combine negative 10h and 27h. So I have negative 5h squared plus 17h. And that's all divided by h. And we're going to take this one step further because I can factor an h out of the numerator. h times negative 5h plus 17 all over h, which allows me to cancel that h. And I get negative 5h plus 17. Or if we want, we could write it as 17 minus 5h, which is the average rate of change between 1 and 1 plus h.